Okay, so welcome back to my set series. Today, we will be learning about algebraic expressions. So, algebraic expressions, or we can abbreviate them by AE, are basically uh, any combination, no? any combination of uh, variables. So, ang variable ay can be any letter or any word and constants. Then, kailangan related sila, no? Related by a fundamental operation. So, yung fundamental operation na yun, pwede plus, minus, times, divide, square root, or whatever. Okay? So, each part, okay, each part of an algebraic expression is called a term. Okay? Term. So, we also say na N and M are factors of K if K is equal to N times M. And then, we call each factor in a term is called a coefficient. I think it's much better na makita to in an example. So, for example, we have variables x, y, z, ana, kahit ano, basta letter or word. And then, as usual, constants, you have 5, 10, minus 20, 50, square root of 2. Yan, mga constants yan. No? So, ang algebraic expression ay combination ng mga yan. No? So, for example, 3xy minus 7, di ba? pwede yan. Or, uh, b minus y minus 9 uh, all squared. Yan, mga ganyan. And then, we say na a factor, so for example, so, eh, so we say na ang algebraic expression, so 3x squared minus 2xy plus 5 has three terms, okay? So term 1, no? 1, 2, 3, okay? Three terms. And then yung coefficients ay itong mga numbers, no? so minus 2 and 5. So, ang next natin na kailangan pag-usapan ay yung concept ng similar terms. Okay? So, madali lang to. So, ang similar terms ay kailangan same lang yung ano nala. Same variables. Okay? So, for example, 7x squared y and 6x squared y. Similar terms yan. Kasi parehas sila na yung variables nila ay x squared y and x squared y. Pero, kunyari, uh, 3x squared and, and negative 2x, okay? So, ito, hindi sila similar kasi ito x squared, ito x lang. Okay? So, kailangan pati yung degree parehas. So, baka minsan may nalilito sa inyo. So, kunyari, x squared over 5 and kunyari, 10 over x squared. Pwede nyo sabihin na, ah, same sila or similar sila kasi parehas x squared. Pero actually, hindi sila similar terms. Okay? So, next natin na kailangan pag-usapan ay yung domain. Okay? So, hinahanap natin yung domain ng algebraic expression. No? So, for an algebraic expression, let's say in x, no? yung domain ay the set of all possible uh, replacements no let's call them replacements for x okay so for example x squared plus 4x plus 5 ano yung mga values of x na pwede natin gamitin so basically lahat ba? so pwede natin na sabihin yung domain ay equal sa let's use the set builder notation x such that x is an element of the real numbers. Okay? Pero, 
For example, we have 3x over x minus 4. Ito, hindi pwedeng maging 0 yung denominator natin. Tama? So, yung domain natin dito ay x such that x is an element of all real numbers pero x should not be equal to 4. Okay? So, nadagdagan lang tayo ng isang condition dyan. Okay? So, we can also extend this into more terms. No? So, kunyari, we have 10 over x plus 5 and x plus 3. So, ang domain neto ay x such that x is an element of all real numbers. Basta yung x is not equal to negative 5 or negative 3. No? Kasi, kundi, magiging 0 yung denominator. Next na we need to learn is about polynomials, no? So, ang polynomials basically is any constant or variable with a positive exponent. Okay, so we need to add a condition, positive integer, okay, exponent, or a product of constants and variables. Okay? So, for example, uh, one half. Polynomial yan kasi constant siya. No? So, kunyari, 6x squared minus 5. Polynomial din yan kasi you have an integer exponent ng constant ng variable. So, pwede mo rin sabihin na x squared over 4. Ganon din. You can also say square root of 2x, no? So, yung square root of 2x, polynomial din yan. Yung mga hindi polynomials, no? So, not poly. Ay, let's say, square root of x, no? So, hindi, hindi natin na-satisfy na kailangan na positive integer exponent. Okay? Kunyari, let's say, x to the minus 2 plus 7. Hindi rin pwede yan. And then, lastly, kunyari, square root of x plus 10, no? Hindi rin pwede yan. Kasi yung x dito, technically, nasa loob siya ng square root, which hindi na integer yung exponent. So, we have uh, special terms for polynomials, no? So, kung yung polynomial, no? With one term lang, we call them a monomial. Then, kung two terms, we call them a binomial. Pagka three terms, I think you can guess by now, it is a trinomial. Pero kung four terms, no? Kung four terms, or at least two terms, we call them, okay? So, two or more terms, we call them a multi Nomial. Okay, so that ends our lecture for today. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments down below. And I hope to see you again next time.